Just because the Oppo Find N5 does not have a true dedicated desktop mode, and no, I'm not counting that thing you can enable inside your developer options. You can plug it into an external monitor. That stuff barely functions. We're not including that for very good reason. That doesn't mean that you cannot pair a mouse and keyboard to this device and actually use it as a productivity machine. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how well that works. So what I wanna show you here really quickly is just how this setup actually works. So I'm using this little Logitech keyboard, which is a Pebble Keys 2 K380S. And just like the mouse that I'll show you in a second, it can be paired to three different devices and you use those buttons there to just switch between those different devices. This is the Pebble Mouse 2 M350S and the same thing is true. I actually bought them in like a little twin pack that had them both together. They work really, really well for basically anything that you're going to want to do. You can see there hitting that uh, Windows key triggered Gemini and we were off and running. So what I'm gonna do now is switch to a different view where you can see the screen more directly. I just wanted to let you kind of see how this was going to look. All right, so now we are capturing the screen of my device wirelessly using something called screen copy. So if you see a little bit of framiness here and there, that's because of how it's being captured. It's not the device itself. So the first thing to point out is that when you move your mouse around, you do have a perfectly normal looking cursor. Interestingly, on the OnePlus Open, it's actually a little circle. It's a little dot. Here, it looks more like a normal desktop cursor. But of course, with this cursor, you can do all of the things you'd expect to be able to do. If you click on an application, it's going to open it. You can use your scroll wheel on your mouse to scroll through different applications and you can click and you can also click and drag, I think. Maybe not actually, maybe you have to use the scroll wheel. I feel like in some applications you might be able to click and drag. If you wanna go home just using your mouse, you can swipe up from the bottom just like you do a little swipe uh, on your touch screen. Inside certain applications like your web browser, a right click should basically be a long press. It should be what you'd expect a right click to be. Most of that stuff works absolutely normally. But now we need to actually stop and talk about the keyboard because there's a whole lot more going on here than you might expect. If you press what is basically the Windows key and then a forward slash, you're going to get this pop-up of keyboard shortcuts. And this is gonna give you a pretty good little advantage, but there's one problem with this. I can't scroll through all of them. You get to this bottom section here, <laughs> it just won't let me go any further. I'm not exactly sure what to make of that. I closed it on the cover display. I could get a little bit further, but I still could not scroll all the way through these. So we're gonna have to kind of feel our way through some of these. You'll notice though, some shortcuts use control, some use alt, and then some use this little search key. That's going to be the Windows key on your keyboard. So control A on your launcher, easy enough. That does bring up your app list, but here's a weird one. Control W says it's supposed to bring up widgets for me, it just causes my launcher to crash and reload. Now you do have several different options for Gboard because there might be things like while you're typing, like needing to get to your emojis that you might not have access to easily without having that on-screen keyboard. So they give you those things like alt and a period. So let's say you're in an app and you're typing, you'll notice you still have this little toolbar down there at the bottom, let's do alt and then a period, and there you go, there are your emojis popping up on screen. So Gboard is gonna actually work with a physical keyboard quite well. We can pull back up this list of shortcuts. You can jump into your settings, on-screen symbols keyboard, voice typing with alt D, clipboard with alt V, all that stuff is very good. You can also just quickly launch a whole bunch of different applications with keyboard shortcuts. Hitting that Windows key is going to fire up Google Gemini and it's gonna start listening to you or Google Assistant if you are uh, still using that, but there are other options, right? Uh, Windows key and B is gonna open up your web browser. M is gonna be your maps. I think K was for your calendar, which is a little bit strange. P is gonna bring up your music player of choice. So once you kind of learn all of these different shortcuts, you can jump into quite a few different applications very quickly. And then Windows key enter is going to take you back to your home screen. I think Windows key A 
is going to quickly take a screenshot. So there are, once again, like I said, several different, I think, fairly useful little keyboard shortcuts to learn quickly launching apps. You can also hit Windows key tab and jump into your recent apps screen from there. You can just click on whatever app you're wanting to jump into. Alt tab works the same way, but you need to continue holding down Alt until you click on whatever app you're trying to jump into. And then Windows key in is going to pull down your notifications. Now, one place that I wish things were improved a little bit is with multitasking. With my Pixel device, there are actually hotkeys, Pixel Fold, I should say, there are actually hotkeys that will throw one app over to the side and allow you to quickly split screen applications. I can find no such key on this application. So if we fire up something like the Google Play Store on my Pixel Fold with a mouse and keyboard, if I do the Windows key and then I think it's Control Left or Control Right, it'll slide the application over. That does not happen here. And I've tried every combination I could think of. I've tried every combination of Control, Alt, Windows, Shift, all of these with arrow keys. None of them seem to do anything. So what that means is if you want to split screen, you're going to have to come down here and grab your taskbar, pull this thing up nice and easy, which it might be easier to just pin your taskbar for times like this. Let's drag an application up. And yes, you can just do this manually just the same. And everything's going to work exactly as it normally would. But instead of using your finger, you're going to be using this little cursor. So it's still very doable. I just wish that we had little hotkeys to split screen or maybe hotkeys to expand one application or another. Like maybe I've interacted with this one uh, most recently. So maybe like Windows Control Up would expand it but you know unfortunately that just doesn't happen there's no combination of keys i can find that works i am hopeful that after google eventually rolls their desktop mode out that something like that will be operating on large screen devices tablets and hopefully even folding phones like the oppo find n5 i think that would really take things to a completely different level, but even still, as things currently are, there is absolutely still some utility to be had here. Having a physical keyboard to do word processing on is, at least for me, going to be a lot better than trying to type on glass, and you're not always in a place where speech-to-text is going to be the appropriate way to work. So maybe you want to sit down and really get some typing done you can absolutely do that here. Now, one place where I might actually make an alteration to this setup is to just not use the mouse because at the end of the day, keeping this thing on a little stand within arm's reach of me might end up working better because so much of this device is really good when used with these gestures, right? So if I fire up the Play Store, two fingers swipe down, now I can jump into threads and I'm split screening, all of that stuff works so incredibly well and you're going to lose a lot of that by trying to use a mouse to kind of move things around and drag things and you can't do a two finger mouse swipe. So you're going to lose some of that stuff. For me, I think I will be quicker and more proficient just using my hand and then maybe busting out the keyboard when I need to type or to quickly launch different applications with hotkeys and things like that. That might be the ultimate setup. But guys, as always, I want to hear from you. Are you using something like this? Do you think there's a reason for you to use something like this? What tips and tricks might you have to improve this experience? Drop all that in the comments down below. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.